Good afternoon, Claire Turner Marshall from ClaireTurnerMarshall.com, success and wealth creator. How are you doing today? Thanks so much for joining me on this free training video about how you can overcome your fear. Why do you need to overcome fear though? What's so important about it? Well, I'm sure there's something in your life right now that you really, really want to happen but that little voice in the head is stopping you from doing that and is stopping you from eating that frog and is stopping you from taking action to achieve it. So what are the key things that we need to think about that are going to help us overcome our fear? Well, first and foremost, one of the things that we need to look at is you know, why are you feeling like this? What is the feeling that's coming up for you? Because we know from law of attraction that our vibration and how we feel and connecting those two together are absolutely critical. And why are they critical? Because what we put out is what we get back in. Now, I'm a big believer in that, whether you believe in the law of attraction, the universe, any of that sort of stuff, I'm a believer that what we give comes back to us. So one of the first things is, you've got to get in the right vibration. You've got to be feeling like you can add that value, that you can empower those people. And you've got to be feeling like you deserve it. Because if you don't feel like you deserve it and you're putting out a really negative vibe, then the chances are the thing that you really want is just not going to come to you. Tip number two is thinking about the subconscious mind. Because the subconscious mind has no idea the difference between reality and between what's made up. It doesn't know any different. And how do we know this? Well, let's put it like this. When was the last time you went to go and see a movie? And at that movie, let's say it was um, a romantic comedy. At some point in the movie, you probably found yourself getting really, really kind of het up and your heartbeat going because there was a critical point in the movie and, and you felt like you were totally in the screen with them, that you were there, that you were living that moment and you got really, really emotional about it. Why did you get really emotional about it? Well, I would say because you were totally tuned in to what was happening with the movie and the subconscious didn't know that it was just a movie. So linking in the tip, the first tip and this tip, you know, a lot of people say, you know, if you can't act as if, then feel as if. Well, that's what I'm talking about here. Are you on target with what you want? Do you even know what you want? Have you done that little kind of vision statement? Have you written it down? Do you practice it on a daily basis? Is your RAS filter tuned in to the things that you really want to bring to you? Because if it's not, then that is another problem. It's about getting that clear and we're going to cover that in a whole other video. So be sure to come back and check it out. What happens next then is we've got to practice this daily. Because there's no such thing as an overnight success. There's no such thing as kind of, you know, making a load of money and being really, really successful and doing it overnight. All the stories that we hear where people have made amazing things happen in their life, guess what? They all took time. And the problem with a lot of people is, and believe me, I know this better than anybody, they're impatient. I'm impatient, but you know what? You've got to plant the seed. You've got to nurture it. You've got to get it to grow. And the only way that it's going to grow is by you giving it daily attention, being consistent, and making sure that you keep focused. Because where focus goes, attention goes. And if you're focusing on all the wrong things, then you're going to let that fear come in. Now, Napoleon Hill told us that fear was a man-made thing. If you've never read the book Outwitting the Devil, I would suggest that you read it because it's a really interesting read and it's very eye-opening. And what Hill talks about in Outwitting the Devil is he talks about fear being merely a state of mind. And it's a state of mind that we human beings have created. So if we've created it, 
Does that mean that we can uncreate it? Well, absolutely yes, of course it does. It means that you can achieve anything that you want if you only put your mind to it. Now, your mind is the most powerful muscle that you have in your entire body. And we know this because when we get tuned in, tapped in, and turned on to the things that we really want, then all of a sudden, magic happens, doesn't it? They all start to come to us. There's nothing magic about it at all. It's about setting that RAS filter and getting it tuned in to the areas that you want to grow in your life. So what have you got to do next? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to schedule some time in your diary to look at where your fear is. And how do you do that? Well, the first thing you need to do is get a piece of paper and just list all of the fears that you have come up. Is it fear of failure? Is it fear of not having enough money? Is it fear of not being good enough? Is it fear of lack of knowledge? What is your fear? What's going on for you right now? So make a list of them so you know what they are. Because once we know what they are, then we can start to take some action and do something to change them. So now you've made your list of your fears, what do you do next? Well, the thing that I always encourage my clients to do is to flip it. So change it, replace it with a far more empowering thought than what you've got at the moment. So if you're fearful that you're not good enough, well, where's the evidence for that? What's telling you that you're not good enough? And look at it critically. Is it true or is it just that little voice in your head that's telling you this and you're choosing right now to listen to it? Because you don't have to listen to it. You can just step back from it and you can flip that thought because guess what? You are in control of what's going on in there. Nobody else, just you. So because you're in control of what's going on in there, that means that you can change at any time. Now, have you ever heard about the 17 second rule with law of attraction? They say that if we can hold a thought for 17 seconds and then 70 more and 70 more and 70 more and 70 more until we get it up to 68 seconds, we actually switch onto the universe. This is what we want. It starts to listen and it starts to bring it to us. Now, when I first heard this, I thought, oh, okay, well, great, yeah, I'll try that. But what I was really struggling to do was actually maintain that one thought for 16 seconds. Because, you know, I originally interpreted it that I've got to sit there and think, um, R8, 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 because I want an R8. And I just didn't bring it to me, what, what was going wrong. Well, the thing is, you don't hold that one thought for 17 seconds. You start in the place of where you want it to be. So, you know, here's a little example. I'm moving every day in every way closer and closer to the things that I'm consistently asking for and the adventures that I want to have. And I am moving closer and closer daily on a daily basis because that is bringing me closer to my goal. I am taking action. I am doing the things that I need to do to make sure that I bring these things into my life. When you start talking like that, guess what? After 17 seconds, another thought will come in and join the first thought, and then another one, and then another one, and they're all consistently moving in the same direction. So by keeping your focus on the positive, you don't have to maintain the same thought, because actually what the mind's going to do is it's going to bring in another thought that's actually aligned with that first thought. And when that first thought is the right one and is the positive one, guess what happens? The real things that you want to happen are just going to start flowing straight after it. So, go and schedule the time in your diary. List the fears that you have. Look at how you can flip them and how you can change them into a more empowering belief around you and what you want. But most importantly, remember that you get one shot in this life. You get one shot to make it count, to make a difference, and to be absolutely all that you can be today. 
So don't leave this until tomorrow. If this is something that's been niggling you for quite a while and if you've been in that rat race and in that circle and not really achieving the things that you wanted for more than a month, to be perfectly honest, then you need to take some action and you need to do something about it today. So set the time aside. Message me. Maybe I can help you. I'm an expert in this area because it's one of the key things that I get my clients doing. I get them in the mindset for success. And unless you've got a mindset for success, then I promise you one thing. You could watch this video 12 months from today and still be thinking the same things, doing the same things, and looking around at your life, wondering why it hasn't changed and it's not different. Do you really want that to happen? I don't want that for you. You don't want that for you deep down. Where there is growth, there is always pain involved. And um, you know when you're not feeling challenged? Well, then you are obviously not pushing yourself far enough. So get outside in that comfort zone. Change things. Because do you know what? This is your life. You are the one person that's got the ability to make huge change. Do it today. Pop some comments below. I'd love to hear how this video helped you. And I'd love to hear what fears you have overcome as a result of taking some action and doing something differently. Have an amazing rest of your day. And whatever you do, be awesome. See you again in the next training video. Bye-bye.